What's up guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we are going to be doing an oil change and a tune-up. So new coils, new spark plugs, and some new oil. Um, so first of all, the coils that I got actually from Euro Tuning. These are the red R8 coils. Um, and you know, these are you know the actual OEM ones that you should be getting for your car. If you have a German car, a VW, because if you get your shit from AutoZone, I'm telling you, it's gonna break. Your engine is gonna blow. Do not get anything from AutoZone. You, you will definitely, you will definitely regret it. But these are, I got some NGK. All right, and these are the NGK spark plugs that I got, the Iridium ones. Um. These should be pretty good for my car. Okay, this is probably like the only thing that you should get from AutoZone. I got the 5W40 oil and my oil filter for my car, Mark 6 GTI. And then my tools and then my seven quart oil pan to drain the oil. So I'm gonna go through how to, you know, actually change the oil so you don't have to go to a shop and get it done. Uh, it's not that hard and then put the coils also in and the spark plug so it shouldn't be hard and let's get right into it all right so first off we're gonna start off with the oil you're gonna jack the car up and remember for safety uh put a wheel under the car or you have if you have jack stands that'd be that's even better but jack the car up first okay so while i'm jacking the car up i'm looking under and look at my downpipe Wow, it looks so good. I didn't even realize it, honestly, because I haven't looked under the car since I got the downpipe installed, but it looks freaking good. And then I have to change out the rest of the exhaust because that's just the regular size exhaust. It's, then I have the three inch exhaust right there, the downpipe. Okay, so now that we have the car jacked up, take off the oil cap, and now we're gonna go under the car and drain the oil. Okay, so now that we are under the car, this is the oil pan, and we actually need a T45 to loosen it. Let me see. Yep. Here we are. Make sure you have your oil pan ready. Oh, this bitch is on tight. Okay. I might need, hold on, I'm gonna put the camera down. One second. Okay, so as you can see, the oil is draining. Um, we got it off now that the oil is draining. Uh, we're gonna just wait for it to finish. Should take about four minutes maybe just to get everything out. And then we'll close it back up and then put in the new oil. While we are up here, gonna take off the oil filter since it's not even on tight so that is perfect this is the oil filter that they put on when they rebuilt my engine there we go it's coming right off look at that that's the oil, that's the old oil filter that's coming off. And this is gonna be the new one. We're gonna wait till the oil drains, so. It's been about five, six, seven minutes actually. Um, and there's still some oil coming out, but once that's finished, I'm gonna pull it out and then we're gonna put the screw back in with the washer. Uh, usually they do recommend that you change the uh, bolt and the washer like like you know on a regular basis after a couple oil changes but uh, I think I think we should be good All right, so the oil is basically done draining I'm gonna move it to the side All right, 
so now I'm gonna put the new oil filter in. And remember, this is the one from AutoZone. So if you have a Mark 6 GTI, the numbers are 10600. It comes with like a little deal. It's like a little package deal. So I'm not gonna record putting in the oil too much because I'm not holding the, the funnel. But make sure you put five quarts in the car. So. All right, so the oil is done now. Uh, and put the cap back on should be good make sure the oil filter is nice and tight and now it's time to uh take off the coils and the spark plugs we should be good to go after that. Right, so with the coils you're going to start off by taking off the connectors um it shouldn't be too hard to take off but if you do need you know a little more assistance just use a screwdriver push the this back Make sure you don't break it because the last time I did oil change, I broke it, just this one, but just push this back and then wiggle it off. That's literally all you have to do. I have all of them loose right now, so it's just gonna pop right out. So the connectors are off now, and then the spark plug, well, the coils should pop right up. Wiggle it, and it's gonna pop right out. Okay, finally got these motherfuckers out. Uh, it's just going, it's just gonna need a little manpower unless you use the grease that is actually used for coils and spark plugs so they can just come out easier. But I'm cool with those, I'm cool with that. I don't really need that. But now for the spark plugs, plugs. I'm gonna use a 5 8 and uh, I have an extension on it too, so it could just be easier to get to. But this is what you're gonna use to take out the spark plugs, and it's pretty simple. All right, I got this one loose, just gonna loosen it. And actually, it's a magnetic, it's magnetic, so once you like unscrew the spark plug is gonna come right out because it connects right to the spark plug. So it should be pretty easy, not too difficult. Just gonna loosen everything. What I like to do is disconnect the ratchet so I could just take the spark plug right out. Look, comes right out. Look at how burnt out the spark plug is. Damn. <laughs> Look at this. Looks really good. Sun. See the spark plug connects right to the socket. And all you have to do is just put it right back in. Tighten it up a little bit. We're gonna tighten it back up with the ratchet. Make sure it's nice and tight in there. Okay, that's just as tight as I could put it in there. On to the next one. Now that the new spark plugs are in, I don't know if you guys can see them, but now that they're in, we're gonna make sure that they are nice and tight. It. Now time for the coil. Right, so I just started the car. And looks pretty good. I don't hear any noises or anything, so that means they're running perfectly fine. I remember I got some coils from AutoZone. I, I know it wasn't a smart idea, but I got some coils from AutoZone it was terrible they made like they made this like loud ass sound and i tell you this loud ass sound it wasn't normal so i knew that it was the coils that were from autozone which were pieces of shit so now we're gonna clean up and actually 
wanted to show you guys what I actually usually do is put the oil back into the oil bottle and then you could just you know dispose of it at AutoZone they'll just take it just take it from me so I'm gonna do that then we'll go on a little drive around and I'm about to floor it so much for watching once again i uh, appreciate the support if you are not already subscribed make sure to subscribe make sure to follow my instagram mark 6 cd and uh just show some love and i really appreciate everything so whatever videos you guys want to see next just let me know um i'm eventually getting coilovers soon very very soon uh i actually want new wheels so gonna get there but thank you guys so much for watching like comment subscribe make sure to share this with a friend that needs it and i'll see you